gonna upload a game plan on YouTube. Um, I want to say there's a specific criteria of what you know what has to go through. Um, but that's making you fucking sense. There's a specific criteria of what I upload, and it's not the typical. I'm turning this down. Sorry about that. It's not the typical criteria you'll see on most channels. Have 3K, you know, go beast mode all game, go flawless. On the contrary, the vast majority of the gameplay is you'll see on the channel. More likely, I'll go negative or I'll go barely positive. <coughs> When I upload a video gameplay on YouTube, the cri I do have a criteria, I do have a little process I go through, but it's not too strict. Just because I play with the really stacked party, so it's not hard to meet that criteria. Um, <coughs> pretty much any gameplay you'll see on my channel, it's a coordinated team effort. Um, <coughs> I may have my little moments where I go beast mode, Duke move no, no, Duke, Duke mode or whatever, but pretty much if I upload a video on YouTube, we won, okay? Or if we didn't win, it was a close-ass game. Um, I, I keep rambling on, but what I'm trying to say is pretty much the game has to be interesting. <coughs> doesn't matter if we win, doesn't matter if we lose, doesn't matter if I go extremely negative, as long as I see parts of the game that will be very interesting for you guys to watch, I upload it. Um, I'd like to win, I'd like to have a good KD, but I know that's not part of the game, that shit doesn't happen all the time. For example, this game here, I'm going to be a spoiler alert, I'm going to let you know, I don't finish on top of the scoreboard. In actuality, pretty much every gameplay I, I post, I'm not really on top of the scoreboard, it's just because it's interesting to watch. Granted, the Iowa map when I was on top of the scoreboard, just, I think I was, I'm not, I know how splat was, see that was a perfect example right there. This is, um, I think this map's called Oasis, it's Rush and we're on attack. Um, and I'm going to let you guys know right now, the reason why I posted this one is because this game is interesting. Um, it's actually really funny, a lot of shit happened in this game that I had, I really enjoyed. Um, I really don't want to go through the motions and let you guys know everything that happens, because, you know, i got to keep some surprise. <coughs> but all I can really say is it's a very very coordinated team effort. And, uh, it's really interesting. Um, I'm not really, <laughs> probably became more prepared, but um, pretty much what I'm going to do, I think the vast majority, I have stop stuttering, the vast majority of this game is, um, <laughs> in, in, I keep stuttering, in the game I call it my uh, perfect military formation. Then when we take tanks and, um, Excuse me, keep, I'm just I'm drinking a glass of coke, burping on. Um, <laughs> but um, some part of this game, there's uh, we take tanks and we roll them in perfect military formation, like the Abrams are up front, the Bradleys in the back, and Humvees behind the Bradleys. It's so it looks so fucking awesome. So I'm not, I'm gonna stop rambling on, go for play by play, I'm going for B. I think this is B. My armament, arming, arming. C guy, he's dead. And I, oh, say, <laughs> okay, so I'm talking a little bit about that. What happens in our party all the time? We have so many people that play in our party. We have people that jump in and out all the time. Generally, it's just going to be me, Splat, and then whoever else joins, joins. You know, Gamma, Steak and Eggs, Lieutenant Pido, you know. I'm not saying like they're not mainstream people, but mainstream people, but, <clears throat> you know, it happens like that too. I, I join out of the blue and join the game. But, you know, there's only four people in the squad, so ten. sometimes the games are full, and what happens is, um, well, so many people in the party are trying to get on one team that not everybody can get on one team, you know? Um, see right there, it says six. Um, so, you know, sometimes people in our party are forced to be another team, and that's what that uh, me against them commentary, live commentary was about. I joined the game, I thought I was on their team, but I wasn't. I spawn and um, I think I have armor. I grab the Abrams. God oh, damn. I'm not wasting my fucking time. I think we just took the second base right there. That you know, that's one of the benefits of rolling in a really um, stacked party. I'd say um, I'd say over fifty percent of the time when I play Battlefield, 
I'm not in a stack party. It's just me and Chris Platt and maybe one other guy, like 13 or somebody like that. Um, <clears throat> and then the rest of the time, it's the stack party is going against a really unorganized team, and it's just organized chaos. I can't wait. I didn't get that kill. It's just organized, but fucking chaos. And it, it's not even fair, really. But um, if I didn't run in a full party, I probably wouldn't be holding the high one loss I have. It definitely would be over a one, maybe a two, but uh, it, it definitely would be a five. Um, but, you know, that, that's credit. I, I'm giving that credit all to my. Um, all, not all to my squad, because, you know, obviously they can't win the game for me, but. I have to pull my weight, but I think this is what I was talking about, the military formation kind of thing. <laughs> um, had the tanks rolling in a single file line. Well, he's kind of to the left. I'm staying in the road. He's taking high ground, taking low. And I think our goal right here was to steal the chopper, not just to be spawn fucking guys or whatever. It's just because, you know, take out their air support. You have air superiority. You know, it makes it easier to win the game. I think our smurf grabs it. And he takes off, and I make a really foolish mistake, and I got really, I got really too over, over cocky. Um, they weren't really putting up any defensive force. So I was like, hey, I'll just run into their base, the fucking neighbors. And you'll see, I'm about to pay for it in a minute. I think, pretty sure I pay for it. That's two of them down there. I can't shoot the ones. I try to back up, or do something, but I just get fucking drilled, man. <sighs> what the fuck was that? That was my dog. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. Anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm switching to alternate flyer. I think I grabbed Abrams again just because I had never used alternate flyer on Abrams or any uh, MBT. I don't know, I grabbed Bradley. Here's um, a pretty, you guys AFK, here's a tip of the day for tanks. You would think that if you're using um, <coughs> the MBT, that you can, you know, just single-handedly crush, um, just crush any other armor on the field. Um, I've single-handedly by myself, without engineers or people shooting out of the tanks, and beaten MBTs, you know, main battle tanks with the Abrams and the T90, um, with the goddamn Bradley. If you, I'm not going to crush my dog in a second, but if you ever go against, just one second. <sighs> If you ever go against, them, if you ever know you're about to go against the Bradley, not Bradley, but an Abrams or a, here's my military formation, by the way, it was fucking awesome, staying right behind him. But if you ever know you're about to go against an MBT, you know, main battle tank like an Abrams or a T90, and if you have only the Bradley, use alternate fire. Um, you get to six cannon shots, and if you press the right bumper, you'll pretty much shoot a goose off at him. <clears throat> what you do is you aim at the back of the, if you can, because you just aim at the front, it's going to be a pretty squared off engagement. But if you're going against an MBT with Bradley, you aim at the back of the tank on the side, and you, you know, rip all seven shots, you know, your six cannons and your little uh, goose off thing. That's the cannon, I think I should have goose off right there. Shoot at the side, and you'll do a hell of a lot of damage to him. You know, if you have a gunner, make sure you shoot rocking armor or something. You can sing handle you just fuck up Bradley. Not Bradley and Abrams. Okay. Yep, this is my little military formation. It's pretty it was actually a lot of fun to do. Um didn't really apply any, it just happened. And um Lieutenant Pito, uh, I don't think his gunner whoever was in I think it was Steak and Eggs didn't wasn't an uh, engineer, so I just kept hopping back in and out. <coughs> now, Steak and Eggs is in, is in my tank, so Lieutenant Pito has probably some Smurf or something. Splat's in a chopper, so. I don't know why. Splat's a designated chopper whore of this map for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know who appointed him chopper whore leader of the, of the pack, but you know, I'm just fucking around. He, he probably, well, like, he's probably the best pilot out of all of us for that patching and stuff. Even the Blackhawk, I mean, I, I like to say I'm the best sometimes. I unorthodox, you know, I uh, use unorthodox me methods like fucking running in their base. One thing I like to do with the Blackhawks is fucking funny as shit. Um, I'm Valparaiso. You go straight up, climb as high in your base as you can, 
you go forward a little bit and you swoop down on your face like a goddamn hawk. It's just so fucking funny. <laughs> and, I, and I always say, uh, I'm doing this so I can deny them the ability to have clean pants. <laughs> it's just funny as shit. I'm taking heat, so... Steak and eggs, cleaning them up. I think I'm the only engineer for these two tanks. I'm kind of spread thin, to be honest. But you see our tanks are just letting them have it. I have it get shot down. And we're not even really trying to hit anything. We're just being fucking retarded. We're pretty much, pretty much spawn fucking them. I don't know who armed it, but, um... Teddy Pito, where you go? But yeah, I, I remember uh, our party was bitching at the Smurfs. Because we're not one for spawn... I'm not even why. I don't know about the rest of the party, but I'm not one for spawn fucking. Nine times out of ten, I just like to end the game. Go for the throw. If you spawn fucking a little bit, you know, whatever. But just go for the throw, get the win. But... Like I said, I've been playing this game for over a year, um, in March. Yeah, I've been playing the game since April, when this game came out. And, you know, I, I've been with level 50 for the longest time, and you need to have some fun sometimes, you know? I mean, that, that means spawn fucking, I mean spawn fucking, whatever. But, you, you know, you need to have some fun. And, you know, if it's <laughs> only fun you can have is spawn fucking, and then be... Shit, I remember this part. We were holding on, dude. And this was a straight up cockfight, dude. We were traced. Uh, Lieutenant P was shot down, so I'm left alone to fend for myself and get shot down.